Hello everybody, it's me, ProgramCuber17, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube. So before we get started, if you have not yet, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure that you know how to solve a 4x4 and a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. So this is going to be a series and so this is going to be part one of the series and so what we're going to be doing in this part is we are going to be solving all these centers but it's going to be a little bit harder than a four by four because it's, it's a two by two in the middle but on a five by five it's a three by three in the middle okay so first what we want to do is we want to get a bar going that way and there's a middle piece right here so if we move it up it matches up and we want one more right here and we see that there's one piece right here. So if we turn the top row twice and we push it up, we can get ourselves a bar. Now, if we turn the top row and we notice that there's already two pieces already com connected and we bring down this extra piece on the top in the right way so that it connects it together. And because we don't want these right here because they're not connected, we, we can insert it in that spot. So now we have this, and it, our piece is right there where we, what we want, our last piece. So we want to put it so we can push it out in the open spot. So like that, and it didn't mess it up because we put it in the op open spot. And now because we want to put it right there, we can move the middle row so it matches up, and we can insert it. And now we would have the white center solved. Our next step is to solve the yellow center because that's a cross from white. So we want to do the same thing. We have to make a bar first. So we can insert this and because we already have a solved side on the bottom, we have to keep it solved. Because we push this up, we have to push it down. And then we have another piece right here. We can insert it like that. So we push it this way so we can push this back down without it messing the top or the bottom up. Next, we want to make a bar. So we have two pieces right here and a corner right here. Let's put the corner right here. So when we turn these two rows, that when you turn it, it'll match up like this. So now you want to insert it. And because it came up like that, and that's the only empty spot, turn it twice and bring it down. And now it's inserted properly. And now we have a middle right here. We can insert it in and if we notice that we have our white our other yellow piece right there and we want to bring it down so what we want to do is we want to bring it down this side so then we turn the top layer and we push it back up so we can took it out of the top row and now we want to insert that piece right here so we turn this row and now they're lined up so when we turn this it lines up and just like on 4x4, four four, when we insert the last part, turn it twice, and turn the back row twice, bring down this row, turn it twice again, and bring it down. And now we have two layers, two centers solved. So our next step is to solve any center. So I'm just going to start off with the blue. And let's find, let's make a bar. So there's a piece right there. We insert it, we made a bar. And now we're going to be doing it a little bit different. So we're going to be bringing down pieces and turning them so they're like that. And now our corner pieces are right there. We can insert one in like that. And then we can turn this blue row so we can insert this corner piece in. And we want to push out these two. So now, because these two are out and our other corners right there, they're already lined up. So if we twist it twice, it gets lined up and we can insert it. And now we have the blue side solved. Next is orange. So we want to make the orange bar. So like that. And then we want... To, we see that there's two bar, there's a half a bar, around half a bar right there, and there's that corner piece right there. So we can insert that, 
right here. And we, we don't want to mess up this blue, so we keep it like that. And we notice that if we push this up right there, it lines those up, and we can push it back. And that's half, that's a little bit more than half a bar. And our last piece is right there. Bring it down and insert it. And then just like four by four again, bring up the piece, turn it twice and push it down. And we would have this part solved. So this is solving the last two layers. Are gonna four be by four was pretty simple, but it's a little bit different for any cube higher than four by four. So what we want to do is because we want that corner piece right there. We can bring it down and because that all got pushed back, we push it to a random area, then bring that row only down, turn it back to its normal way. And then that, in the beginning, we push this row down, so we push it back up and then we turn it back and then we push this row down. So we bring it back up. That could be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to be showing you again with these last two pieces. So we want this piece to go into this area. So we want to bring it down. It connects, but it pushed everything away. So this won't work. So we want to put this bar in a different area. So we turn the front face and we push this part away. And because we turn the front face, we unturn it and we push it back. The row that we push down back up and we can we turn it back to normal again. And then we have to push the piece that we moved down the second time back up. This is a little bit confusing, but after you get the hang of it, it'll become pretty easy. So if you look now that all of our centers are solved, so that's going to be all for part one. Part two is going to be edge pairing. And part three is going to be doing all the three by three steps.